Hi everyone! It has been quite some time since I've posted on my YouTube channel but you know who can be surprised given that my last video was deleting all my social media also because I've been studying for the MCAT so I'm here today to give you a life update on where I've been and also take you along to study with me so let's just cut to the chase um, fall semester what's happening given things are quickly deteriorating in Rhode Island um, I am not going back to campus. Initially, while I had planned to go back to school in the fall, I think it's not very safe to go back to campus and a lot of schools are sort of following the domino effect of starting to open campus later. And Brown still is planning on doing um, hybrid classes. They're just starting, I believe, instead of September when our classes start, we're doing a month of fully remote and then people can choose to move on campus in October. But I decided to just, you know, give up my lease to someone else and I'm just gonna stay home for the rest of the semester and um, hopefully I'll find housing in the spring. I'm curious to hear what all of your schools are doing, if campus will be reopening for you, and whether you feel that it's safe for you to go back. So what have I been up to in the past two months? I've been studying for the MCAT, doing some research related stuff, applying to things, um, but now I'm really getting into full-time studying for the MCAT because my test date is like 20... Oh my god, my test day is literally exactly 20 days from now and I have like this crazy tracker thing that tells me like how many days, how many weeks, how many months I have left until the exam and every time I look at it, I just panic a little. So without further ado, feel free to follow along and study with me. Also, if you're currently studying for MCAT or will be soon, keep watching because I will be giving away a UWorld MCAT subscription. Woo! This is the current setup. I have literally an empty box um, that I use to prop up my laptop. Got a keyboard and a $10 mouse um, just to try to mimic the test situation as much as possible. If you're not familiar with what the MCAT is, it's the medical school admissions test, um, but it is a grueling test. It's normally seven hours and 30 minutes or something like that, um, but they shortened it due to the current situation. Let's see, today's Saturday. So it's one of the more chill study days, AKA I'm usually pretty burned out by the end of the week and Saturday, um, I kind of recoup. So I've been using Anki, which is a flashcard study program. Um, it's like Quizlet, but 20 times more intense, arguably more than 20 times more intense. Um, so I currently have a ridiculous number of flashcards I still need to learn. I have probably like 3,000 that I haven't even reviewed yet, and then I have like 500 that are due. So that's a little bit alarming, but we will get through that. The only real thing I have scheduled today is to do UWorld questions. Um, yeah, and it's not even because I'm partnering with them, because if you are pre-med, pretty much everyone knows about UWorld, if not uses UWorld to MCAT prep, they have amazing practice questions. So I've just been doing 48 questions at a time to mimic a full section on the exam and it's been really helpful and I think it gets me to, you know, practice quelling my test anxiety because some of the passages are like very dense on the actual MCAT or the section banks. So UWorld is good practice to just get your nerves a little calmed down when you see those crazy passages. Okay, I will throw up a screen recording as I do this. So essentially you log into UWorld and you launch the question bank. So UWorld is a larger um, test prep company. So they have like USMLE test prep stuff, but um, I just use the MCAT question bank. So when you log into UWorld and launch the question bank, this is the home screen that you will see. Um, and there are two modes. So you can do tutor mode and time mode. Um, and these are not mutually exclusive, so you can pick one and not do the other. 
I never use tutor mode because that will show you the answer, I believe, after you do each question. So I want to do all 48 questions before I see the answers. Um, and then there's a timed option, which will calculate the amount of time you would have on the AAMC actual test. Um, and then it'll count down. And even if you don't do timed, which sometimes I don't do it, I just want to see how long it takes me to do each passage. If you don't do timed, it still has a counter. Um, so you'll still know how long it took you to do that section while you're doing it. And then in question mode, you can choose to do unused questions. You can review your incorrect questions and only see those. Um, marked questions, which are the ones that you flagged that you weren't sure about. Um, or all, which is just every question. Um, but currently I'm still making my way through the new question. So I'm on unused and then you can pick a variety of subjects. It's really helpful that they divide everything up because you could just, you know, check whichever topics you've already studied. So for example, if I want to do behavioral science practice and I've only gone to learning memory and cognition, I can just select that and then practice from there, which is really awesome. I wish I did that earlier. I think if you ask most people who are studying for the MCAT, they'll say that they wish they spent less time on content review and more time practicing. So a great way to reconcile that is to do those practice questions um, with the respective unit that you just studied instead of doing all your content review and then starting the UWOD questions because there are quite a few. Um, you know, in total, there's 2,000 questions that you could be doing. The only thing about the practice test, though, is that you can only... Um, do one subject at a time so you can't mix. Um, if you really wanted to mimic a full test, you could just do the sections back to back. So this is a great resource. Um, you can also go to previous tests and see how you've done. There's performance reports, which, um, yeah, not looking too hot percentage wise, but I will say UO questions are pretty challenging. So don't be surprised if you score in like the 60s, 70s. Um, after you finish your practice test, it shows you, you know, the average of what people scored on the same passages that you took. So it tends to be around the 60s to 70s. I take that back. It tends to always be in like the 60s. I don't think I've seen it being in the 70s. Yeah, you can see your um, performance over time. They graph it really pretty for you. There's also a flashcard option, which I don't really use, but you can save um, diagrams that you've seen. Another thing is that the explanations on these practice tests is immaculate. Like, let me show you an example. Um, okay, so this is organic chemistry. And I'm just going to show one because I don't know if I'm allowed to show this in the first place. But um, when you're actually taking the exam, it looks just like the actual AAMC format of the portal. Um, these features are all on the actual exam. And on the right side, you can see after you, this is after you receive your score report, they have amazing explanations on the topics both tested in the question and even beyond. So it's really a great review because you not only target that one specific problem area, but it gives you an overview of other things you might need to study because you got that question wrong. Um, and they have beautiful diagrams. They are so well done. And... Yeah, it's just been a great way to study. So you World MCAT was so kind to let me have a free subscription for the MCAT question bank. And of course, I asked them if I could also give one away. So what do you have to do to enter? Just subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at Maisie Gao and leave a comment saying what's up, whatever you want to say, but don't forget to leave your Instagram handle so I can reach out to you if you are the lucky winner. And I will be deciding probably like two weeks after this video comes out. I'll put the date here for when the giveaway will close. Um, and don't put your email in the comments, please. I don't want random people to send you sketchy advertisements. Okay, well, I'm going to actually study now. <laughs>
it's pretty obvious given that I finished all of the behavioral questions and still have like hundreds to do in the others. Yeah, a study tip that I need to follow myself is to really focus on weaknesses, even though it's definitely more uncomfortable to realize that you have knowledge gaps in those areas. Yeah, the worst thing you can do to improve scores is like keep studying the things that you're already good at. Um, as I don't follow my own advice, I'm going to review the questions. Um, so what I like to do is when I'm reviewing, I also make flashcards on the things that I didn't get right. Um, and even for questions that I did get right, I read all the explanations or at least the educational objective that they put at the bottom, which is like a TLDR. It's a three sentence ish summary of the um, topic that was tested. So I'm just going to review my answers, make flashcards and I'll check in with you after. Looking for me to let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't want to wait no So as I'm reviewing, I'm watching a video and remembered that I wanted to share a really, really helpful plugin that I found recently and it's called Video Controller and if you can see in this like top left corner, you can speed up videos like three times and it's been so helpful because I literally can't listen to things on one time speed anymore. <laughs> Like, this is a normal speed for me. <laughs> My dad picked up McDonald's. Some chicken, some fries. Good day to be alive. McDonald's, McDonald's fries. fries are actually the best. The fries. You know, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, animal fries, objectively, mm -hmm. the best thing created. The best thing. <laughs> Just because of sauce. You look at the sauce on the top. Well, the fries is good. They, they make a fresh potato. Coaster. What's up? That's the weirdest, cutest to talk. Guys, an update since you last saw Coaster. He got all of his teeth pulled out. <laughs> he's getting old, but he's still kicking. Oh, so he's cute. For you. He is. Right. My dad asked me, do you want me to take a, a video of you eating your your sandwich? Sandwich? Bur Wait, what is this? So here it is. Mm. Junk. <laughs> ah, since this is an MCAT related video, there is an actual sociological term called McDonaldization, which essentially refers to like making everything efficient and uniform and impersonal. So the more you know, that's an actual term that I have to study for the MCAT. Uh, lunch break is over. Back to studying. Eating ice cream. So good. I'm falling asleep while studying, so I'm eating ice cream. Uh, maybe I should take a nap. But I don't have time to study. Okay, so ate my ice cream. Feeling slightly more energized, I'm going to review the biology section that I just did. And then after that, maybe, just maybe, I might take a nap. Cause Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I need to go walk my dog now, but I will see you in the next one. Bye.
Cause space, 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 space. 